this is my solar light box in action soaking up the sun like I said before you don't really need a charge controller for a low output setup like this it should be fine just charge it for a few hours and so after charging it for less than half an hour the voltage went up to 6.5 from 6.38 so if it is a 12 volt battery it would be 13 volts and this is actually pretty much charged uh, at 6.6 uh, .6. so uh, it looks like it's working okay so this is the solar utility box that I just finished making uh, with the utility or LED lights up front here on the side of the on the front of the box on the side whatever you want to call it and um, the solar panel hinges and angle is adjustable 1.5 watt 12 volt outputs about 18 volt and it charges a small charges a small 6 volt battery and inside I'm just going to put a few things a few ziplock bags to hold your documents or money or whatever a set of walkie talkies a flashlight this one has a blinking feature and also SOS I didn't think this would be useful until I saw a couple of movies on people getting stranded in the snow and at sea. Uh, maybe it isn't such a useless feature after all. And uh, probably need a couple of good lithium ion batteries, uh, a charger, a USB adapter and a couple of connecting cables the cables would be very useful if I need to hook up anything to the batteries here and of course uh, this would be the lithium ion battery and matches or maybe a lighter uh, a knife uh, the Gerber multi-tool that I have would be a good thing, but I couldn't find that. And a USB uh, lithium power bank. This uh, uses again the 18650 lithium ion battery. has a very uh, good, uh, has some very good features. Uh, that's all I can think of for now to put in. Uh, there's not much room, so I will probably think of something else. But for now, uh, this is what it is. And uh, I like the fact that you can go off grid with this. So, alright. Uh, Thanks for watching.